Hi everybody, welcome back. Today, I want to share with you something that I recently purchased to help me with the care of my jewelry. Hello, Editing Cat here. And if all of you did not notice in that first 30 seconds of that introduction, I have a wild eyelash that's popping up from the inner corner of my eye. I can see it and if you don't see it, good for you. But if you see it, just ignore it because we're not filming this again. <laughs> and as you can see, I've taken out some of my jewelry to show you today. So this item is the Dialux Polishing Compound. Now the reason I bought this is because I love jewelry. I have fine jewelry, I've got jewelry, which let me just show you from all brands. Like I've got my Chanel ones and then I've got all these beautiful pieces from Ana Luisa, which some of them need to be polished. So we'll do that in this video as well. So I realized that I actually don't have enough polishing cloths and stuff to help me with really, really delicate pieces. And my Ana Luisa pieces here, I do wear them very regularly and my, you know, other brands. I need to take care of them. So I decided to purchase this uh, polishing compound. But before I go into that, let me show you more pieces that Ana Luisa has kindly sent to me. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been working with Ana Luisa for the past year, and they are such an amazing company. They are based out of New York, and they make beautiful jewelry pieces. Affordable, but so high quality. So the two pieces they have sent to me, let me just show them to you right now. So the first one is the, oh, that's beautiful. These are the Rocks earrings. They are so cute. Let me just wear them because I am currently wearing the Knot earrings, uh, which, yeah, I read, I always just change them out. So these are the Rocks earrings. They are the small size and I love the fact that they are like, a rectangular shape, something very unique. And I think I can actually wear them on a daily basis. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think so. They look really pretty. So let me just show you the next item that I got. This was something that I was kind of like looking on their website for a while, but is always sold out. And I don't know, I just, I just find it so beautiful. So this is the Puff Heart Necklace. And it is so cute. It even comes wrapped so there's no scratches. Wow, it's so adorable. And I am always wearing my... Oh, let me just come a little closer. Isn't that cute? I always wear my Yusuf necklace, but I think this is going to be another staple favorite. Isn't that cute? I love that. It's a good drop. In fact, I think I could extend it a little bit more. It's a good layering piece and I like the fact that it's like a little bit of a puffy heart. Oh man, that's adorable. Oh, I love this piece. Oh my gosh, it is so cute, especially that little puff heart. And these earrings, yeah, I think they are definitely some everyday earrings, something a little bit unique in a square shape. They look good with this hairstyle. So thank you again, Ana Luisa, for sending me your gorgeous pieces. I absolutely recommend Ana Luisa. If you're looking for high quality, affordable jewelry, they have stunning pieces on their website. And right now they're having their Black Friday sale month. And I think I just went into their website. They are having like buy one, get one 40% off, which honestly I'm going to take advantage of because I'm going to buy myself <laughs> one more of these Yusuf necklaces. They have the silver version, which I am going to add into my cart. I've got like two or three things in my cart and I'm going to like use my own code. <laughs> I think I have like a 10% discount code, but they're having a better one right now. Like buy one, get one at 40% off. So if you want to take advantage of it, go and check it out. I'll leave the link to all of these necklaces which I'll show and earrings in the description section so you can check it out. But since we're talking about Ana Luisa, I do have one item which is the purpose of this video. I want to show you how to polish it. So let's talk about this item that I purchased and it's called Red Rogue or Rouge or Rogue. I, I'm not sure how people pronounce it. Okay, I'm back. It's called the Jewelers Rouge. So Red Rouge, like I think it's like the lipstick red color. I don't know. Why did I think of Rogue? <laughs> rogue or Rouge. But basically, it is this um, polishing compound. The brand that I got is Dilux, and I believe this is made in Germany. I could be wrong, but I, I'll just leave the information down below. So this item is actually um, a compound made of iron oxides, and a lot of jewel uh, jewelers, jewelers polishing cloth is infused, or they're kind of like, you know, they've got a bit of this iron oxides on the cloth already, which you can buy 
on Amazon, they already have polishing cloths infused with jeweler's rogue or basically this compound. And when you use it to polish your gold, your silver, um, it gives off this beautiful shine. It will remove tarnish that you see on your jewelry. And because iron oxides gets deposited onto the, the gold that you have or silver that you have, it gives off this beautiful shine. Basically, a lot of jewelers have that polishing machine. So they actually rub a bit of this polishing compound onto that buffing wheel. And when they buff your jewelry, because of the heat and the rubbing, it gives this beautiful shine. And because some of the iron oxides are deposited on your jewelry, it gives a lasting shine. So that's really very technical, but you know, if you Google Red Rouge or Jewelry's Rouge, there's so much information about it. So I decided that since I have so much jewelry, I decided to get my own. Now, just a precaution is that this is a very, very fine powder. So I, I personally recommend that you, you know, polish your things if you're using it in an open space because you don't want to be breathing it in. So, you know, open air, have a bit of breeze. And then if you have very sensitive skin, I do recommend that you use a glove or make sure you wash your hands very thoroughly after polishing. So enough talking. Let me show you um, a couple of things that I'm going to polish. And let me tell you, this little piece here is going to last me a lifetime. I've got a clean, dry microfiber cloth here right now. And this is the red rouge, which you can see is uh, basically like a slab of iron oxide. It's hard and you can see it's all powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub a little bit of it on my cloth. It's deposited on my microfiber cloth. Let me just grab one piece of jewelry. So you can see there's tarnish on this ring, even on this side. That's the red rouge. I'm going to start to polish this. So you just take a bit of it and then you polish. And this rubbing motion and the heat that it generates between the cloth and the... Um, um, this is a silver ring with um, glow plating. I'm going to polish it now. So you can see it deposits, um, it takes away all that tarnish, right? So I'm going to rub it right now, rub, 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 rub. And I'm not sure if you can see the shine, see, on that ring. Okay, let's do another ring. And this ring, as you can see, it's kind of like blackened and just not, uh, yeah, so it's like super dirty. So I'm gonna do the same thing bit of that rouge and I'm gonna polish. All right, there you go. So I did a very quick rough polishing. Of course, if I wanna get like deep into the crevices, I will need to like, you know, really put my cloth through here. But just for this video, can you see how shiny and sparkly it looks right now from just polishing with this red rouge? Let's do one more. This is one of my really old bracelets uh, from Tiffany & Co. And as you can see, it is you know very badly scratched. It's tarnished, even in the middle here. Right, you can see that. Get a bit of that compound onto the cloth and then start. This is how my silver looks like right now. I gave it a bit of a buff and I could probably keep going and buffing and it'll even be more sparkly. But just look at that right now. It has taken away all the dirt. Let me just show you the dirt and all that. See, this is all the tarnish that was on my bracelet and my ring. So we found this video useful. This red rug is not something that I guess is very commonly talked about on our luxury community. But if you love jewelry and you have a lot of it, sometimes buying all these, you know, like small polishing cloths 
isn't really enough that you actually need to go a little bit more heavy duty. Now, how do I store it? I actually have been keeping it, let me just show you. I've actually been keeping it inside a Ziploc bag because you don't want it to be, you know, everywhere. It's a very, very fine powder. And what I do is I seal it up and make sure it's continuous. It stays dry and, you know, keep in a not humid location. And I kind of like wrap it up and then I keep it with the polishing cloth that I use it with because I don't want to mix this polishing cloth with other things anymore. So yeah, you can read more about this uh, Red Rouge uh, online. It is, there's tons of information about it and precautions. Like right now, my hands got all the compound. I'm going to wash my hands thoroughly, make sure that I don't leave any residue. But yeah, my items are super sparkly. Even my Anna Luisa necklace, which I'm going to polish right after this, is going to look super sparkly. And I feel like this is one way to keep uh, to keep your items um, well maintained and keep them always shiny and perfect and yeah, look at that ring. Wow, that is so shiny right now. So yeah, I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you have any questions about these items or any of the items that I talked about, any of these jewelry pieces, let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, everybody please take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye!